First we're going to start with my makeup primer and I like to use my primer before I put on any makeup it helps to mattify your look and fill in any pores so that you really have a clean canvas as well as really making your foundation last a longer time. So now I'm putting in my liquid foundation. This is a full coverage and SPF 20 and I like mixing it with my nourishing facial oil especially with winter coming up when it's going to be a little bit drier. Mixing the two will really help to add moisture to your skin. And I'm using a beauty blender to dab it onto my face and get my coverage. So like I said, this is a full coverage liquid foundation. And because we're going to be layering it with our contouring palette, you don't need a whole lot. You just need a good even amount. and I'm going with in with the color fair as it's a shade lighter than my skin tone because I'm really wanting to highlight and brighten these areas so I'm going under my eyes around my nose on my forehead oh, down the top of my nose my cupid's bow and then my chin this is the areas of your face where the light hits first so you really want to brighten that area up and I'm going to blend it out using a dabbing motion again with my beauty blender. Now just to let you guys know to make sure your beauty blender is damp before you use it. That way the product stays on top of the sponge and doesn't get soaked right into the sponge. And oh my God, if you have not tried these concealers out, you have to. They are amazing. They come in seven shades and I actually use them for all my contouring needs if I'm going to do a little bit more intense contouring than what I'm doing today. Right now I'm actually going in with the light color and concealing any blemishes I might have. Obviously you want to match this part of your concealer to the skin tone if you're concealing anything else. Obviously you don't want to bring attention to that area. Now I'm taking my setting powder. This is a translucent setting powder and I'm putting on a fair amount of product and really dabbing that right onto any areas where I've put that concealer. This is going to bake my concealer so that it stays on all day. It doesn't crease and it doesn't look cakey. Baking is a really great technique to making your makeup last longer and anytime you're using anything liquid, you want to set it so it won't crease. where the sun is going to hit your face and that's just going to help create that beautiful glow. I am contouring my nose right now uh, with a powder. I'm using the color, the eyeshadow pebble actually. 
and I personally like to use a powder and definitely contouring your nose takes a bit of practice and I'm still not perfect at it but all you have to do is keep practicing. under those cheekbones, staying closer to the ear and blending it right into the hairline. Now I'm taking my concealer and going to put it on my entire eyelid and act as a makeup primer. This is going to really help my makeup last on my eyes all day. There are so many things that you can do with this concealer, that's why I love it so much. So now I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows and do them. So you're brushing your eyebrows where you want them to stay and then filling in any spots and creating a little bit more shape into your eyebrows. So I went ahead and put on a little bit of powder to help fill in my eyebrows. And now I'm finishing my eyebrows up with our tinted brow cream. I love this stuff. It's like mascara for your eyebrows. So your eyebrows will stay on all day. So I'm putting on my blush now and I'm using the blush that is in the palette and it is in the color Moonstone. And this color is a very peachy color. Really, really nice for fall. Looks really good for uh, any lighter fair tones as well as anybody who's tan so I really feel like it works for everybody now I'm putting on my highlighter so using the color stardust in the palette this is our highlighter color and I am just going to put it on the very top of my cheekbones as well as any other place that I kind of had put some concealer so down the end, top of my nose my cupid's bow my chin and a little bit on to the forehead just to again add a little bit more accent to that area and just a little bit more glam. tutorial so if you made it to this point congratulations I am using the same color I used for the contour so the meteor color as my crease color and just blending that up into the eyebrow area then taking this color it is called Canyon and it actually is a little bit on the red side and I honestly never thought I would use it and I have been just loving this color lately I especially love it for fall for those fall colors and the red tones I just find are so in right now and just kind of complete this look so I'm adding it into the transition color so into the crease but just not blended as much and I am going to use it as my eyeliner for my under eye waterline. So I'm going back in that same color I used on my cheeks, the moonstone, and placing it on my finger and just putting it right on the right above my eyelashes on the part that I have not filled in. And this is just going to add just a little bit of a shimmer to it and brighten up that area. I'm putting concealer on the inner eye and I'm going to place that same highlighting color as I did on my cheeks, contouring my lips, so just really carving them out to make them look large, larger than they already are. And same thing with my eyebrows, just carving them out to really create that structure. And if you have not yet noticed, I am really due for an eyebrow wax. So this helps to just help create the shape when it feels like there is no shape. a 
small pump of our makeup primer and scraping some of our Onyx, which is our black eyeshadow, into uh, I use a metal palette and I mix the two and I'm using an angled brush to draw that on and I've just created a gel like consistency for a gel eyeliner and I love this because of the primer it stays on all day and won't smudge. So today I've combined both the begonia color and the jasmine color to create just a subtle pink. Okay, and that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. See you.